So today I'm going to be making a first part of my little boy's birthday cake. Um, I'm planning to do a bus birthday cake which will be uh, two layers of chocolate cake and one layer of vanilla cake. As I have tried many different uh, types of recipes for chocolate cake, I have never found one which tastes as good as the Betty Crocker Devil's Food Cake. So that's what I'm going to use today, uh, simply because it's delicious. So what do we need for that is uh, we need three eggs. Uh, we need three eggs, um, 120 ml of oil, 230 ml of water. Uh, <clears throat> so I use uh, Alpha One Pure Rice Bran Oil, as is the healthiest. Uh, I use a purely organic uh, eggs and obviously tap water. So let's uh, let's open the box. There we go. That's our mix. So let's put the mix in. Now we're going to put all the eggs in, which I've already put in a glass. Uh, 230 mils of water. And now we need 130 mils of, 120 mils of oil. So, So that's probably about right. There we go. Now we're going to put all that in there. Let's attach. Let's put the guard on. And now we're going to mix it until it's nice and smooth. The recipe says that we're supposed to mix it um, gently for two or three minutes. So let's change the speed to gentle now. And we wait two or three minutes now. In, in the meantime, while we wait, we will grease the tin. I use just some uh, margarine or just some spread. Grease the tin, and this time I've used a uh, low pack spread. And now, to make sure that the cake won't stick to the tin, uh, I always use as a precaution a little bit of um, breadcrumbs. So we shake them in, and then we'll go around the tin. I've just realized that I've decided to do a bus for my little boy. I totally forgot that I have to use a square tin. So scrap the round tins and let's use the square one. So I've got a square tin with a removable base so then I can just easily lift the cake out. So our mixture is all ready. <clears throat> nice and smooth. There it is. Smelling nice chocolatey. Take it off. And now we are going to put the oven on. My oven's got a uh, fast preheat, so let's set it. What does it say? We set the temperature at 160 uh, degrees for the fan assisted ovens or 180 for a normal oven. So let's do 160. And 
we wait till it preheats. It will take probably two, three minutes. Now, while we wait, we pour the mixture into the tin. I seriously need to buy a holder or like a, um, a tripod or something to keep my camera on it. It is not easy uh, showing you how to bake a cake, how to make it, uh, holding, the fire, uh, holding the camera at the same time. So, there it is. We're going to scrape the rest of the the rest of the uh, king, uh, cake off the bowl so there it is it's all nicely straight in the tin and now we wait for the oven to preheat and we put this one in so as the oven beeped that is ready we will take our cake and put it in the oven It's in the oven and we are going to keep it for about uh, 30 minutes. Change the setting for the fan and let it bake. And I shall see you for the next part when I'm going to do um, a light cake. But as I need this then probably I will do another video so welcome to the second part of uh, my boy's little boy um, boss cake uh, this time while the um, chocolate cake is in the oven I am gonna make uh, the vanilla cake which is gonna be uh, the middle layer for my cake so uh, I'm going to use again a Betty Crocker uh, mix simply because it's a really, really nice fluffy cake. Um, I'm going to use Alpha One Rice Bran Oil. Uh, the recipe says to use three medium eggs, however, uh, I have two large ones, so that will be plenty. Uh, and I use only purely organic eggs. And uh, uh, 180 ml of water, <clears throat> and then I've got a tiny little, um, little bit a little bit bigger uh, tin for the white cake. But that's fine. It will be easy for me to cut to the size of the chocolate cake, and uh, it won't be as thick, which I don't want. So let's put the mix in the bowl. Now the eggs, I'm assuming we put everything together. So the eggs, the water, and now we need 90 mils of oil. So let's try to measure 90, that's probably right. Let's put that all in there. And we have to gently mix it together until smooth for about two, three minutes. So in the meantime, when this is uh, and mixing uh, all the ingredients together we will degrease uh, the tin and like I said in previous video I put um, a breadcrumbs in it to stop the cake sticking into the tin and making it easy to remove so let's wait so as our cake is nicely mixed together all nice and smooth we will pour it out, pour it in a tin. Now 
Now I'm going to scoop the rest of the cake mixture from the bowl. So there, all the mixture is nice and straight in the tin. Now we're just going to have to wait uh, for the oven to finish baking another one. So once the, once the chocolate cake is baked, we will put this vanilla cake into an oven at the temperature, again, 160 degrees for fan assisted ovens or 180 for uh, normal ovens. Otherwise, it's a gas mark four. <clears throat> Next thing, what I'm going to be doing as the fillings for the cake, uh, I'm going to use a Polish chocolate custard. As in England, it's very hard to buy any of the custard uh, to make than the original one. So I'm going to use a Polish chocolate custard. Uh, and then I will also use uh, a cherry... Um, kind of like a sauce so one layer will be filled with a chocolate custard uh, then it will be the light cake layer and then it's gonna be a cherry um, sauce <clears throat> so that's all to come welcome to the third part of the video of my boys uh, boss birthday cake uh, so as I said previously uh, for the in filling in between layers, I will use a Polish chocolate uh, custard and I'm gonna use uh, a pitted sweet cherries uh, uh, with a strawberry jelly as I couldn't get hold anywhere um, a black uh, cherry jelly. Uh, couldn't get that so uh, I'm gonna use that. So the recipe for the, uh, for the chocolate custard says uh, half a litre of a milk however because I wanted to have it a bit of thicker as I'm going to be adding some cream to it I'm going to use uh, 400 mils to make it so we put it in a pan put a little bit too much we need to leave some to mix the custard in it and that'll be enough that's fine now I'm going to set the and I'm going to start heating the milk up and this part we need to uh, mix the custard in. This custard already has sugar in it so you don't need to add any more. Uh, my spoon? <clears throat> so I'm just going to mix it and you can probably try to add just ordinary coca to to the uh, to the uh, English uh, bird's custard but it might not taste the same so that is done we need to wait for the milk to, to cook now we're going to open the cherries we're going to put them in the pan Absolutely plenty. I'm going to add a lot of water. And we're going to start cooking it. And we're going to add a little bit of sugar. So, add a little bit of sugar. Not too much, as the cherries should be sweet. So, now we have to wait. So, time's come to the end on my chocolate cake. Let's have a look if the cake is ready. It looks nice. Let's stir it and see if any cake is staying on it. That means, that means it needs another 15 minutes at least. <clears throat> Oh, let's put it on for another 15 minutes. I always find out that the cakes, the time on the recipe always takes much longer in, uh, in my oven uh, than the States.
So while the milk is boiling, we will take it. We will we will reduce the heat. We will add the mixture to it, and then we need to use uh, something to stir it. So now we're using a little whisk to thicken it up, to mix it together and thicken it up for about half a minute. So it's getting thick, that's how we want it. Now there it is, nice and thick. Now it needs to cool down. Now once the cherries are cooking, then uh, we will add some jelly. The jelly I have, it was supposed to be Heartless um, black cherry jelly, but I could not get it anywhere. So I'm gonna use the strawberry jelly. So first I'm gonna use a half a packet. I will put it in hot water and I will be stirring it until it all dissolves. Uh, what we want uh, this to happen, we wanted it to get thicker, but um, I know the jelly thickens later when it cools down but we want to have a nice uh, nice consistency nice kind of like a thick consistency once the jelly is uh, getting in and all the cherries are cooking so the cherries looks like they are been long enough you cook them well simmer them for about 10 minutes and then you can take them off the gas and um, uh, basically wait till they cool down so you see they they're getting a little bit thicker I have actually added the whole packet of jellies but that's because I had a little bit more water than than I should have had but obviously less water than less jelly at the same time my chocolate cake has started beeping so let's have a look if it's ready now where did I put my stick there it is so let's try it. Let's. I think it's gonna be nice and ready now. Yes, that will be nice and ready. Stop it in there. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that one out and I'm gonna put the cream one in. So the chocolate cake is out, looking very nice on the cooling rack. Now I'm gonna put the vanilla cake in the oven. Probably we'll have to cook it for the same time, but we start with the uh, time given by the book, by the box. So let's put it for 30 minutes, and then we'll see if it's ready by then. 160 for the fun associated oven. And now we have to wait for everything. For custard to cool down, for one cake to cool down, for cherries to cool down, and for this one to bake. I'll see you again in the next part. So the time has finished. The cake should be ready. Let's have a look. It looks all right, but a bit of a steam. Let's stab it and see. Perfect. nothing coming out the cake is ready so now we need to wait for both cakes to cool down the custard and the cherries so another part of my little boy's uh, boss cake so now as we have a big white um, vanilla layer we have to cut it to the size of the chocolate cake and then we will start cutting the boss out um <clears throat> then as you can see on the video the um white layer uh the white cake um it ripped a little bit but it doesn't matter it will still be fine once it's uh, cut into size so i will try to do that while holding my camera but i'm not sure how much success I'm going to have. Trying to cut it as straight as we can. 
this bit is gonna be harder so I'm gonna have to stop so there you go this is the left pieces so I've cut the shape uh, of the bus the pattern but I am not making it that small so I've adjusted a little bit in the cake so in a minute when I cut it out you will see what it looks like uh, I can't unfortunately cut and hold my camera with me uh, so I'm just gonna have to show you once it's cut out so now this is the old pieces cut out <clears throat> and maybe it doesn't look like a bus yet but it will be I'm thinking should I have the front a little bit longer maybe I could hmm Maybe I cut a little bit more of the front. So now, as I'm happy with the <clears throat> outcome, I am going to um, cut the chocolate cake uh, in two layers using <clears throat> one of the cake cutters, the wire cake cutters. So first of all, I'm going to move the wide base onto the plate and then I'm going to cut the chocolate cake. So to probably uh, make 11 layers I will use this kind of setting so it's on the maximum and on um, number three there so I hope that works nicely so as you can see now I've got the layers cut and uh, I am gonna lift them and put them on a <clears throat> proper cake plate so I'm going to start doing the layers. So I have decided to use the top uh, layer of the cake as a base because it's not fully straight. But once you've got toppings and other layer, it will be nice and straight. <clears throat> uh, so uh, for the bottom layer, I'm going to use custard. I'm going to show you in a minute how to make it to a nice creamy custard. And obviously there are cherries ready for the next layer <clears throat> so to make a nice creamy custard layer we are gonna <clears throat> whisk uh, whip uh, some double cream uh, so we're gonna add a little bit of sugar to make sure that it whips nicely but it's not too sweet that's probably gonna be enough and I'll just use a hand blender uh to whip it now there is two options to do it uh you can either uh leave it not fully not fully whipped and start adding slowly custard and whipping it with it or you whip the cream completely and you move the custard uh to another bowl and you like in your uh mixer and you mix it on gentle uh, until it's nice and smooth. I will do uh, in this jug so I'm going to be putting uh, bits of the custard into it and mixing it together. I can't unfortunately show you this because <laughs> I have nowhere to put my camera. Let me see if I can find a way. There we go. I think that worked pretty well. So now I need a spoon. Uh, I need a spoon, so I'm going to get one. <laughs> and as you can see, right, the custard is very, is a very very thick. And that's what we want it. So we are taking is very thick and very fluffy. So we're putting it in just a little bit at a time and we're gonna blend it. Once it's done, then we're gonna have a custard cream layer. Nearly there. 
ready. One last bit. <laughs> right, that's done. can see we have a nice uh, custard layer to spread it's nice and creamy so that's what I'm gonna do <clears throat> I'm gonna move this closer and we're gonna start applying it if you think the custard is uh, came out too thick, still with the cream, you can always add uh, a little bit of cream and mix it to make it smooth. Right, I need to stop now because I need to spread it nicely. So that's it. That's all the layer done. <clears throat> Why do I prefer cost chocolate custard cream to a chocolate frosting or generally chocolate? Is because it makes the cake less sweet and I don't like over sweet cakes which make me sick after a few bites so now I'm gonna put <clears throat> the um, uh, white cake on on that layer and so as you can see um, my <clears throat> my uh, white vanilla cake has uh, broken half when I was trying to move it on uh, but I am going to fix it and it's going to be covered with a layer of cherries as well as another layer of a cake so nobody will notice <clears throat> so the cherries are a little bit like a thicker uh, jam really um, but they're not too sweet they they've got a little bit bite to it so they're gonna be absolutely amazing in the combination with the custard and chocolate cake so we'll just take spoons and just put it on top and then spread it the same way as the custard <coughs> so this is what it looks like when the layer of cherries is on <coughs> And now we're going to put the top of the chocolate layer. Of course, if you want uh, the middle layer to be thinner, you can always cut that in half. I didn't bother this time. And voila. So, two layers. Yes, I'll probably cut, uh, cut the, the middle layer because it's a bit thick. But I'm so, another part of my uh, little boy's bus cake. So today we're going to do decorating. So I'm going to use a yellow colouring uh, gels uh, for the cream to basically colour the bus yellow. Black ones we're going to add to a part of the cream to make the wheels. And orange probably to make the windows and maybe lights. So... Um, I'm not going to show you how to uh, whip the creams with the colours because that's pretty simple. So you put the cream in, a little bit of sugar, and then you put all the dyes in. So I have used a whole 300 ml uh, cup of cream to make this nice and beautiful yellow colour um, to decorate the cake. Now I'm going to put uh, a little bit of cream to make the black one, well, a little bit. You need to have a bit for the wheels. So, we'll see, that might be enough. 
<clears throat> we'll see. So there we go. I've added three black, ex extra black, extra strong um, black dyes. It's still a bit greyish, but it will just have to do. I'm just going to start decorating now. So we'll start with yellow, with the top. Try to spread it nice and smooth. And then, uh, when we get to the wheels, we will do the wheels. So that's pretty much how I did the boss. So it's all covered uh, inside. Bear in mind, obviously, because you don't have a top of the cake here, you, I've used the middle bit. Some of the pieces of cake just came with the cream. If you use the icing, obviously, that won't be an issue because you just cover it with icing. You could have used a layer of something to cover the top and then put the cream on. But I didn't want to do that, so now we just need to do the wheels <clears throat> and then try to smooth it more. So this is how the wheels look like. Uh, it turns out to be rather challenging uh, to do the wheels from cream. So they're not the best, but I guess as my first attempt on making a boss cake uh, from cream, I think that looks pretty good. So I've used, for the white, I've used uh, two circles from Crazy Faces. Uh, and now I'm gonna warm up some uh, milk right in chocolate. Um, this one, to mark some doors and windows on it. So, as I went to the toilet, my uh, partner took the chocolates and decorated the bus. Made windows, doors, and the back. So it's all looking, starting to look more like a bus. Uh, I will see you in the next part as I need to go and pick up my daughter from nursery now. Alright, see you later then. Right, so now the bus is ready. We have used the letters uh, to decorate uh, the bus uh, with Happy Birthday and Hayden. Uh, we've used O and N to, to make people, uh, which looks like a driver and a people in the bus. Um, the black is like a tyre mark uh, where the letters are stuck on. And uh, that's it. Then as for a not professional baker, but I do love baking, who is learning how to um, make everything, I think that's uh, pretty good. So this is my boy's little boy, uh, this is my boy's uh, little boy's uh, birthday bus cake. He's two today and I'm sure he's going to be very, very happy. Bye then.